Hi guys, my name is Gilberto, uh, but nice try, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm Mexican, uh, well I'm a gay Mexican, I should tell you guys that now. Uh, it's because my mother's side is Mexican, and my father's side is, well, gay. Uh, so. But people say I act white, yeah, they don't believe it when I say I'm Mexican, they say I have white mannerisms, for whatever that means. Yeah, they call me a coconut. A coconut, because I'm brown on the outside and full of juice, ready to get sucked dry on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Always hard. <laughs> Never <get it. laughs> But I'm from America originally, um, and you know, it's, being, it's hard being away from my family. Uh, so I have to call my mom every so often and tell her like what the differences are between like Seattle and here. And I'm like, Mom! Do you know what they call cigarettes here? What do they call cigarettes here? Fags. I'm like, the first time someone offered me a cigarette, they're like, do you want a fag? I'm like, fuck yeah, it's that sh is that easy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who would've thought, you know? Uh, but some people can be mean when they know I'm gay. Some people can be mean. If I'm with my partner, they'll come up to me and they'll be like, can I ask you a question? Like, yeah, sure, what's up? Like, who's the woman? in the relationship. <laughs> I'm like, ah, like there isn't one? That's kind of the point. <laughs> That's kind of the point. And like, I get it, I get it, but you know, like who's the woman in the relationship? And I just get all mad and I'm like, I don't know, I guess whoever earns less. <laughs> The woman laughing at the hardest. <laughs> but I do, I love London. You know, I'll tell you why I love London. It's because of your transportation system here. I think it's amazing. Like, every time I see a guy riding his bike, it gets me all hot and bothered. Because it reminds me, like, I like to have sex. Like, I like to ride a bike, you know? Something always up my ass. No helmet. <laughs> Knee pads optional. Um, <laughs> but I'm more of a bus rider myself. I'm more of a bus rider myself. Like, the one thing I don't like about buses here is that they never fucking wait for anyone. No one. I've seen so many people pound the side of the buses, you know, but they won't wait. Like, remember, I remember one time I was running towards the bus, and the bus passed me, and right in front of me, I saw an old lady also trying to make it. We weren't going to make it, and the bus stopped at the bus stop, and I was like, fuck, and then I saw an old lady trip. So I'm like, fuck. Yeah, and then everybody around her was like, are you okay? Are you okay? And then I noticed that the bus waited for her. I'm like, this bitch figured it out. <laughs> Cheeky bitch, you know? <laughs> but I learned, right? I learned. Like, I learned, like, next time I'm running towards the bus, and I know I'm not gonna make it, I'm gonna see the bus rider just pass me, and I'm gonna look him straight in the eyes and just push an old lady down. <laughs> so that should work out. Um, I just came back from a retreat. I came back from a retreat to, to learn about myself and I learned that I'm pretty fucking amazing. Yay! So that, that worked out. But in the retreat, it was really metaphorical. It was really metaphorical. Like, they would tell us, like, don't compare yourselves to others, you know? Like, we're all from the same, like, apple tree, right? Like, and as apples, we ripe at different times. And I'm like, sometimes I feel like I'm a pear on an apple tree. Like, what I'm trying to say is I'm always a fruit, you know? <laughs> Always and then it'd be like, live in the moment. Live in the moment. Like, don't try to be so distracted about everything around us, right? And imagine me, like, in America, we like to play this game with, like, Where's Waldo? Do you guys have that here? I think it's called Where's Wally? Uh, so it's like, you know, you open up the book and you try to find Waldo. And I spent, as a little kid, all day trying to find Waldo, all day trying to find Waldo. And then at night, I'd find Waldo and I'd get so excited I'd lose him again. <laughs> and then I thought to myself, only in America can a white guy that's named like Waldo, dressed as a fucking peppermint stick, fit in so well, you lose him in a crowd. <laughs> but like, I, who assimilated my whole life, stick out like a sore thumb. You know? Like, I'm gonna create a new game. It's gonna be called Where's Osvaldo. And it's gonna be like a brown guy dressed in regular clothing you'll find him in an instant. <laughs> it's true, you will. Um, but they also said, like, if you want to know who you are, if you want to know who you are, like, pay attention to yourself. When you first wake up, that's who you are. Right? Before all these social pressures come in and we change who we are, like, just pay attention. And I'm like, 
I must be a thirsty hoe. I must be a thirsty hoe. So, but, like I mentioned, some people can be a little mean. You know, they can. Uh, it's true. Like, like they call me derogatory things. Like they call me the F word, right? They call me. The, it's the same thing you guys call cigarettes here. What is it? Fabulous. Uh, but my friends are the worst. Like if I can't lift something heavy. Like, oh, you pussy. I'm like, whoa, whoa. Like, that word doesn't bother me so much, but I'm just a firm believer that you are what you eat, you know? <laughs> and like, I'm not. Uh, like, sure, I'm an asshole, but. Uh, <laughs> thank you, man. It's enough.